Hello, I'm Jeff, and this is the fifth installment of Rogue Squadron Going for the Gold. Uh, last episode, we took out an Imperial base on the Jade Moon, thanks to Kason Moore's intel. Uh, since that was such a solid lead, we're going to go ahead and listen to her again, and take out some construction yards. This is where they build all the uh, AT-ATs and ATSTs, so we're going to go socket to them. The only option you get is the speeder. Really, that's the only option anytime there's AT-ATs involved. Case and Moore said this is one of many small factories where the Empire produces its ties and walkers. This is a straight hit-and-run mission. It's not going to stop them, but it'll cripple them for a little bit. Sure yes, this is one of many first. small installations, also, but this one strike will so cripple the Empire. They could be back at any moment. Anyhow, it opens up with uh, a pretty straightforward section. You just have to remember, remember to slow down enough to first. improve your accuracy to uh, take out these uh, radar dishes that you're flying up on, because when you get too close, get they'll close to see you and you'll fail the mission instantly. But they're pretty easy to take out, and you can fly really slow with the uh, Z and R combo. You don't even need to go that slow. There's just a few of these, and after that we'll be in the construction yards ready to cause mayhem. Run right around the corner here. There. Now I believe this is the last one. Okay. I was mistaken. This is the last one, for sure this time. Good job, Rogue. They're blind. Yep. Now, so now just gotta start taking stuff out. I'm gonna start with this ATAT. -AT. Because it's fun. And this uh, this dock that we're flying right next to has all kinds of parked uh, TIE fighters on it. So you can just strafe that and blow them all up for some free kills. It's debatable how worthwhile it is to... Well, how much time you spend doing that. But definitely take out at least a few of them. And the turret for obvious reasons. Let me make a quick pass on some of this. Strafe some of the barracks. Oh, jeez. Almost ran into that one. Missile turret, gotta take that out automatically. There's a few of those on this level, and uh, they're a real nightmare to deal with. You may notice a fancy maneuver I did on that turret, where I basically laid down the jukes. Uh, actually, I was just twitching trying to get my aim right, but it had the same effect where uh, the turrets try to lead you a bit, so... If you uh, are constantly spazzing out in different directions, then they try to shoot that way, and they generally miss you. Which is handy. I noticed that when I blew up that bunker, a bunch of infantry came out, so I'm going to go make a pass on them. Oh man! I completely forgot about that. There's a... Uh, a bonus point hidden in that one that I just blew up. Sir, we found some advanced bombs. Yes, we have advanced bombs now. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but when you find those things, they do actually give you little upgrades for the different craft. Like, there, I think the one on the Jade Moon gives you uh, improved shields. Ah, oh, jeez. That annoying beeping sound means that the missiles are locked on. You basically have to swerve around until they uh, run into the world geometry and blow up on something. Because they last an annoyingly long time before they do that. This is one of the construction buildings. It's just this one. Uh, I think it's the ATST production building. You just 
blow this up and I think that's all you actually have to do in the area, but there's also a ton of uh, smaller buildings that are equally, that are much easier to blow up and easy to get kills on. So this is a good spot to take your time and really take stuff out. And also, the stationary, dang it! Well, I took out the building anyway. The stationary walkers are a lot easier to take out. They just have much lower health, so you can fly right along a row here. And hopefully I can demonstrate this. Yeah, just take everything out, including these little uh, wire towers that support them. Yeah, all the free kills. in here and I think I'll just go ahead and move on to the ATAT -AT one I think by the time I'm done with that one I should have enough kills racked up to get the gold and I haven't wasted too much time either so I'm feeling pretty good about that I will try and approach this one from high up on the right because there's some missile turrets uh, a pair of them down there defending that entrance I'm going to try and take them from surprise, more or less. I just attacked the wrong turrets. Missile turrets right over here. Yep, that got me. Luckily, there's only one left there to deal with. If you're really good, you can um, actually shoot down the missiles before they even hit you. But I've only ever managed to do that by luck. I may have to figure out the system when I uh, get to the raid on Solus, though. Anyhow, so, yeah, it's just down to that last couple of buildings there. There's this thing up here, and there's this longer structure that's gone now. And same deal, you can even blow up the, the parked AT-ATs uh, very easily. So don't fail to do that. Just these three buildings. And that'll be it for the mission. Good shot, Jackson. Yeah, really went on a rampage in that one. All kinds of stuff to kill. It seems like we're always playing defense. Thanks to Keith, and we may just turn the tide of this war. Now let's head home. I need to paint some TIE fighters on my fuselage. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's see how I did. Dang it! Okay, what did I mess up on? Good to know. Even that was not enough kills, and I barely made it in time for a gold medal. So... I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. We're getting a little close to those scanners. Good job, Rogue. They're blind. Now take out those factories. Alright, well all my allies died this time. I wonder if that was because I ignored the ATAT -AT this time around. I decided not to waste time on that. It's okay, I didn't need their help anyway. Okay, felt pretty good about that one. I killed all kinds of stuff. What? You kidding me? I forgot about the freaking bonus. Okay. Damn it! Oh my god. Okay, I'm starting to do too... getting too enthusiastic about shooting the ground troops. Need to keep my accuracy up. Jeez. Sir. 
All right, let's see this time. There we go. Yay. All right. That took a few more tries than it should have, but that's okay. I really enjoy this level, actually. It's a fun, fast-moving little raid, and you get to blow up all kinds of stuff. It feels really destructive, which basically feels good. Yep, so that was this mission. Um, thank you for watching this far, and have a good day. See ya.